Dave, your thoughts after that? Delighted with the point. Um, circumstances of the game. Um, thought it was a pretty even game. But get, probably get game of two offs, really. I thought we started really well. Front foot. Um, passed it really well. Caused them real problems with the changes we made in the group. Um, scored at a great time. And then after the goal, we came a little bit, the game became a bit scrappy. Um, but delighted to go 1 0 up at half time. And then we just gotta, we've just got to work on restarts and you know, the, the tempo was set second half on kickoff and pass it back to Josh. Josh didn't expect it to come, put it on his weaker foot, shanks it, and then the goal's poor. You know, got to do better there. Um, ball into the box, next minute it drops in the net. Um, again, a goal that. The last two goals were conceded at home, opening in the six yard box. So, uh, but again, you know, I thought the officials were poor today. Um, considering it was a local derby, I thought it was very one sided, if I'm being honest with you. you know, and, and then no common sense. Um, another booking for Jarman instead of it being like wet pitch, you know, and understanding the game a little bit more. And, you know, it just hurts teams like us because we've only got a small squad and you know, it's not a malicious tackle, it's just one that is over touched. And I think the referees don't think that happened. He doesn't need to put himself in those situations, though, does he? He doesn't, but and he's got to be a little bit cuter, of course he has, but. You take them bits and bobs out of Nathan Jarman, and then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna take a lot from his game. At it's just a game where sometimes the referee can be a little bit more sensible than that. And then obviously, when we went down to nine, uh, to ten men, you know, we regrouped. Um, they had some good chances. Emmett made a good save, which you expect with obviously the way they play. Um, but yeah, we we we've got good spirit in the changing room, you know, and that was evident late on. Um, and, and if we'd have took care of the ball, we could have got something on the counter both times. So, um, just really pleased with the point um, when in a game that could have gone either way, but the game we could have lost. Do you feel your captain let you down? No, 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 no. I think he should do better. Of course he should. But you know, I'd have gone for the same ball. You know, in, in a, you know, if you, I'd have been more disappointed if he hadn't gone in for it. Um, but in the heat of the game, it's, it's, it's level. It's, it's in the balance. You know, I just expect more from officials. Really, you know, it's in their it's in their box. So, you know, it's not like it's in a in an area where, you know, he's gonna. I don't really want to get too 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 involved in um, in officials today because I thought it was poor. I thought it was poor for both teams. Uh, Lions the side didn't know what to do half the time. The referee from minute one blowing his whistle more than we, the teams passing it, and uh, thought they could have done a lot better. And, I say before the game, um, celebrations into the crowd. Thompson's on the yellow, goes and celebrates in the crowd. So for me, that's a yellow. Bottles it, and um, don't say before the game that you know we celebrations have to be kept with on the pitch. Goes off the pitch and celebrates in the crowd. So for me, that's a yellow. So for me, the performance was very poor today, and uh, you know a game that needs to be a little bit more ref with a little bit more common sense. Uh, but going back to um, my players are they were outstanding second half in terms of grit and determination and making sure they didn't get beat um, and they're the positives that we'll take out of the game today I know Henry Gravas got the man of the match but I thought only all three centre halves deserved it because there's a number of times when they put their bodies on the line you're going to get that from them three you know um, they're always going to be competitive they're always going to be physical um, you know and that's what we've we've based the team on this year you know three big centre halves um, and, and they give it everything for the football club. You know, I thought there was a lot of man and match performances. I thought the two centre mids, um, Mason and, and Jordan Richards, were brilliant. Um, you know, just a disappointing thing near the end where we don't miss the first man out for the for the ball. We could have nicked it. Um, and when you work tirelessly hard like we do, you've got a chance of getting performances. But it's disappointing with the goal because I think it's something that Emmett should deal better with, and he knows that. Uh, but someone who's been outstanding for us all season, we can't we can't take that to blame really. Uh, with Henrik, his loan deal's expired. What's the mm. plan? Yeah, we're hopeful of ex extending it for another month, another 28 days, um, but we've got to get confirmation from Derby. Uh, but it has to be done before Wednesday, otherwise we'll not be available for spending more. Yeah, but we've just got some aching bodies, we've got a lot of knocks. Um, yeah. Like I said, we've got a small squad, so we might have to do something in the transfer market this week and see what was available. Um, Bradley Wells loans up in Stamford soon as well, so uh, he'll come back into the fray. Uh, but yeah, just delighted we've come out with a point today. Cheers, Dave. Cheers.